David and Abigail by Antonio Molinari Abigail was an Israelite woman in the Hebrew Bible married to Nabal, she became married to the future King David after Nabal's death. Abigail was David's second wife, after Saul and Ahinoam's daughter, Mihau, whom Saul later married to Palti, son of Laish when David went into hiding. She became the mother of one of David's sons, who is listed in the book of Chronicles under the name Daniel, in the Masoretic text of the books of Samuel as Chiliab, and in the Septuagint text of 2 Samuel 3 3 is Delta Alpha Lambda Omicron Upsilon Iota Alpha, Daluia. Her name is spelled Abigail in 2 Samuel 17 25 in the American Standard Version. Prudent Abigail by Juan Antonio Escalante David and Abigail, 1860 Woodcut by Julius Schnorr von Karolsfeld derived from the Hebrew word Ab, Father, and the Hebrew root Gyl, to rejoice. The name Abigail has a variety of possible meanings including my father's joy and source of joy. In 1 Samuel 25, Nabal demonstrates ingratitude towards David, the son of Jesse, and Abigail attempts to placate David, in order to stop the future king from taking revenge. She gives him food, and speaks to him, urging him not to have on his conscience the staggering burden of needless bloodshed and reminding him that God will make him a lasting dynasty. John Levinson calls this an undeniable adumbration of Nathan's prophecy in 2 Samuel 7. Alice Bach notes that Abigail pronounces a crucial prophecy, and the Talmud regards her as one of the Tanakh's seven female prophets. Levinson, however, suggests that she senses the drift of history from intelligence rather than from special revelation. After Abigail reveals to Nabal what she has done, God struck Nabal and he died, after which David married her. Abigail is described as intelligent and beautiful. The Talmud amplifies this idea, mentioning her as being one of the four women of surpassing beauty in the world. Being married to the wealthy Nabal, she is also a woman of high socioeconomic status. Whether David married her because he was attracted to her, or as an astute political move, or both is unclear. Abigail and David's second wife, Ahinoam the Jezreelite, accompany David and his war band as they seek refuge in Philistine territory. While David and his men are encamped near Jezreel, the women are captured by Amalekites who raided the town of Zeklog and carried off the women and children. David led the pursuit, and they were subsequently rescued. Both wives then settle with David in Hebron, where Abigail gives birth to David's second son, Chiliab. Abigail is also listed as one of the seven Jewish women prophets, the other six being Miriam, Deborah, Hannah, Sarah, Halda, and Esther. In terms of her moral character, Abraham Kuyper argues that Abigail's conduct indicates a most appealing character and unwavering faith, but Alice Bach regards her as subversive. Adele Berlin contrasts the story of Abigail with that of Bathsheba. In one, the wife prevents David from murdering her foolish and greedy husband. In the second, David orders the murder of a good man because he desires his wife. In the Abigail story, David, the potential king, is seen as increasingly strong and virtuous, whereas in the Bathsheba story, the reigning monarch shows his flaws ever. More overtly and begins to lose control of his family. Levinson and Halpern suggest that Abigail may, in fact, also be the same person as Abigail, mother of Amasa. Richard M. Davidson, however, points out that on the basis of the final form of Old Testament canon, references to Abigail in the biblical accounts indicate two different individuals. Abigail's self-styling as a handmaid led to Abigail being a traditional term for a waiting woman. For example as the waiting gentlewoman in Beaumont and Fletcher's The Scornful Lady, published in 1616. Jonathan Swift and Henry Fielding use Abigail in this generic sense, as does Charlotte Bronte. Scott, in The Abbot frequently refers to Lilia's, Lady Avenel's maid as an Abigail. Anthony Trollope makes two references to the Abigail in the Eustace Diamonds. At the beginning of chapter 42, whilst Thomas Mann makes the same reference at the start of the second chapter of part 2 in Buttonbrooks. William Rose Bonnet notes the notoriety of Abigail Hill, better known as Mrs. Masham, a lady in waiting to Queen Anne. George MacDonald Fraser makes mention of an Abigail fussing about the room in his novel Flashman from the Flashman Papers series. Abigail is a featured figure on Judy Chicago's installation piece The Dinner Party, being represented in one of the 999 tiles of the heritage floor. Thanks for watching.